can all use some help in this era of information overload. It's time to dump all the documents and papers in your life. And here to help, the former chief information officer at Google, Douglas Merrill. He's got some great spring advice, spring cleaning advice in terms of how to get organized. He's put it all in a new book called Getting Organized in the Google Era. And it's good to have you with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Why, pray tell, are we standing in front of all of these boxes, reams and reams and reams of paper? The average American goes through 750 pounds of paper a year. That's five full trees. And it also is very hard to work with. It's very, you can't search it, you can't find it. Right. You're killing the environment and doing it in a way which isn't helpful. Right. So if all of this stuff is coming our way and it ends up looking like my office, perchance, or actually, you know, my office at home, you just get overwhelmed by all of this stuff. So there really are ways to, to get rid of all of this stuff, right? In the last year on the Internet, we've created enough information to fill 5,000 copies of the Library of Congress. <laughs> Obviously, it's a huge challenge to keep that organized right. and, and not be overwhelmed. There you go. Now, back, you know, we think about the things that we absolutely have to have on paper. What do you say are the things that, if, are the only things you really need to have paper copies of? Almost never do you actually need a paper copy of anything. Mm -hmm. But you do need a copy of your birth certificate. Right. You need a copy of your marriage license. Right. And you need a copy of your will so that people can find it. But other than that, you really need almost nothing on paper. Those are the, the so if, if you don't need five filing cabinets. You need one thing with a little slot that has that stuff in it, right? I have one half of a filing cabinet in my office. One half of a filing cabinet. All right, well, let's move over here and uh, let's try and figure out how we should uh, proceed then. So I've got it, my birth certificate, my marriage contract, and my last will and testament. What about tax returns? We've done these segments so many times before. Aren't you supposed to save tax returns? for like seven or ten years? The, the length of time you have to save a tax return varies a lot based on your situation, so mm -hmm. go look at your tax advisor and ask that question. But regardless, when you're done with them, you don't want them lying around. Right. Almost 16% of all security problems in 2007 were from people who took a piece of information, printed it out, and then threw it away without shredding it. Wow. So that's where a lot of identity theft comes from. Right. When you have a piece of paper, people can find it, shred it, get all right. rid of it. All right, so as your, as your bills and all these information comes in, all these reams of paper come into your, into your house every day, this is the place where it really needs to end up. Absolutely. This and uh, once you, what do you have? You should scan it, I suppose. Yes. Right. So what do, what do we do with that information then? If I'm going to be disposing it, how, how do I keep it electronically? So you store it online, and there are three really good online applications that we want to talk about today. The first one is Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox is a tool which allows you to take a file of any kind and store it online, store it in the cloud. Mm -hmm. What that means is that you can share it, you can hold it, you don't have to have it on your local machine. Right. Another 12% of security incidents in 2007 were from people stealing your laptop. Ah. So getting your files off of your laptop right. onto the cloud sure. is a huge security win. That's a great thing. And then what's Google Docs? What, do you, what, do you, what does that do? So Google Docs is a tool which allows you to both store files and share them, mm -hmm. but more importantly, search them. So you have scanned a bunch of your information. You don't need to find it later. Right. You need to understand where it is. One of the problems with traditional files is that you mark them on a label, you, you stick them in your filing cabinet, and then you'll never find them again. Right. Because you're going to label them wrong. There you go. All right. I mean, it's a brave new world out there. I'm going to trust that everything you said is absolutely correct. Douglas Merrill, thank you very, very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.